यू पद एक्सपर्ट्स वेलकम टू द यू पद डॉट लर्नर चैनल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर सब्सक्राइब सो टू यू विल सी अबाउट अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट द हाउ आई डिड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो इफ यू इफ यू नॉट हैड सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियो हाउ आई shut down my pc through my mobile using the ui path app so you can see in the description i i provided the link in the description so you can see how i operate it okay in this you in this video so we will see how i done so we'll see from the scratch let us go here i'm just going to the ui path uh, uh, app just go to the ui path studio and create a small background process okay ul shut down ul shut down bot so ul shut down u u path learner shut down bot so let us see now so we have to provide the arguments what we will do in this use case here we will we will do a two things one is the shut down and restart okay to shut down or restart the we have to get the commands from the ui path app okay for that we can create a one argument a input argument in this workflow there is a in underscore command let us go to the main workflow and see in the argument session we will create a one small argument called in underscore command or cmd which command we are getting okay command okay so this is a string and basically uh, first of all i will i will show you so how we can shut down or restart see here uh, if i have a shut down hyphen s hyphen s means it is a shutdown hyphen r means it is a restart that's it okay hyphen s hyphen t and you can just provide the a uh, seconds within within how many seconds uh, we can shut down okay Uh, suppose I, if I just give the seconds like a 99 seconds, click OK. So this is a small command. I'm just running from the. Uh, see, it is a you you are about to sign out. Okay, in one minute. Uh, what I am just doing this is hyphen Y to get uh, suppress that cancel that log off. See, you can if you want to cancel that log off, you can just simply uh, shut down space hyphen Y. Okay, so there is a shutdown hyphen hyphen yes is for the shutdown. So shutdown hyphen R is for the restart. Okay, let us go and uh, search for the start. Uh, how can we run a commands? Uh, just type the run run parallel process. start process start job and the application st uh, process start trigger um there is uh, some command so maybe let us see whether it is a uh, disabled or not okay it is a disabled it seems so what i am just doing i'm just taking the normal process let us take a normal process okay you will shut down bot let's take a normal process and check whether we will find the uh, a activity called start process or not okay so we can run basically we will we will start the uh, command line command.exe uh, exe application and we will pause the command line arguments like a uh, this this uh, shutdown hyphen r shutdown hyphen s these things all so let us first of all check start uh see start process is there so then you have to take the uh, normal process not the background process let's just drag and drop the start process here in the start process so let us take the commands basically this is a shutdown right <coughs> shutdown hyphen t if i put the 0 0 immediately it will shut down okay here i'm just using that uh, in in the ca uh, In the command, give one second, so I'm just adding the keyboard. So okay, here use the command cmd dot exe. Just zooming out. Let's zoom it out a bit. Okay. Um, 
only single activity that's it okay single activity cmd.exe that is a command and here in the bracket slash c hyphen uh, space in the double quotes double quotes in the sense double quotes double quotes double quotes within the double quotes we can just use the shutdown hyphen so you can just copy the everything from the command itself so what i'm just doing i'm just copying everything here see uh, 99 i'm just giving the 99 okay so let it be 99 okay so later we will change to the 00, zero so so that it will immediately shut down so because as we are testing so uh, it is recording right so if you shut down it will it won't record the uh, okay video so i'm just giving the 99 what you have to change you have to give the 00, zero. that's it okay zero, 00 i'm just giving the 99 you just change to the nine zero zero and here this is a time so we, within which uh, how much time it has to shut down so this is a s s or r right s is a st for a shutdown r is for restart so here what we can do we can create an argument and this will come from the in underscore command this will come from the ui path app okay this this argument we are passing here in after that here within the double quotes in underscore command okay so this make uh, like a r r yes that will that we have to pass from the orchestrator that's a simple activity okay it is done our, our process is done so let us publish this process publish this process okay yeah we publish go to the orchestrator and create a process so we publish the package we have to create a process so let us create a process go to the orchestrator tenant and create a process for that so go to the process uh, panel in the right left hand side go to the process here and uh, click on the plus button plus button and uh, select the uh, ul ul shutdown so you will shut down. just now we publish okay create a, this one environment and click on the create so once the process is ready what is the next so go to the apps go to the ui path app studio into the orchestrator and create a new app brand new app click on the create new and create a new app like a ul shutdown And here, what we can do, we can just simply uh, create a, a buttons. That's it. Okay, create a buttons. One is a button. Uh, this name is a shutdown. And if you want to put this uh, icons, you can search the icons and click click the icons like a something like a some shutdown and click arrange the logic like a solid or these things and all right you can simply put the shutdown is like a uh, red color i'm just putting the red color and add the another button i add the another button and do the same thing this is like a green i'm just putting the green and uh, here go to here Start. So if you want to change the sizes, as you can change the sizes like this. So go to the fonts, and here is the font is there. So you can just change this one, this one to the 22. It will increase the a font size. So click on the dots and uh, increase the size of the you know, font. Okay. So now we have a ready uh, buttons are there. Okay. So now click on the process. See here plus button. Create a process and go to the tenants you select the process which we created just now ul shutdown bot right so click on the start menu now we have a this one so if you want to click on the parameters you can see one command is there go to our our shutdown uh, shutdown button and click on the events you have to create a rule rule which rules 
start process right start process just drag and drop the process name and unattended I'm just selecting the unattended here input override override you can override the values to the arguments okay click on the input override just drag the command which is a which is the input uh, argument you have to uh, override and just pressing the yes that mean so you, this is a shutdown button okay once this shutdown button is clicked so you have to pass the yes yes uh, uh, character a string okay here you can mention the string a string to the in command and when started when started when process is started you can just simply use the spinner that is a tick mark that means it, it will show the spinner shut down started okay after that's when completed so again you can just use the spinner to hide that spinner that's it okay just uncheck this one so so that when when the process is completed uh, the execution it will hide the uh, that process that's it okay um, that's it about this shutdown and select the restart go to the create a rule do the same thing uh, start process just drag and drop the process name here and check the unattended input or uh, uh, override the inputs here I'm just pressing the R that is for the restart okay R so when started just simply select the spinner check mark restarting some dot dot dots and when completed simply add the spinner and check this one so that it will hide that's it the our process is ready if you want to add any headers you can add the headers like a display go to the display and add the headers in the top okay so if you want to add the something like a, a divider line you can add the line okay this header so just align the settings like a this one remote something like that okay so you can just simply this is a just a, a header let's click on the preview how it looks like okay this will look like a so you can open this one from the mobile log into the log into the, open the chrome in the mobile open uh, log into the, your orchestrator click on the apps the app is available click on the open that av uh, available app this shutdown app and click on the shutdown okay so your robot is your, your robot it will trigger the robot okay let us see now so whether it will trigger the robot or not okay here is a available things so what I am just doing is the app click on the shutdown see here shutdowning and you can see the process it will run the process see UL shutdown robot bot process is running now okay going to run now so but so once it runs my laptop is going to shut down so what I'm just doing here see she shutdown is triggered so if I put if I put just uh, I'm just canceled that log off uh, uh, because so it is recording right so the the restart also the same thing so if you just put on restart restart click on the restart that is also uh, it will execute the bot and it will trigger the uh, OS uh, commands okay so it's going to shut down so I'm just canceling that one okay just for so you can just try it out so what you have to do you have to simply change this 99 to 00, 0 and open this in the, your mobile and operate you can shut down your laptop from anywhere in the world okay your laptop is some some direction that means some uh, it is in a, some country you are in the some other country you can shut down uh, that means some people ask like a so is is there any distance we have to maintain from laptop to, to the mobile so they think that it's, it's a connected through bluetooth or something like that it's not bluetooth it is a orchestrator cloud is connecting each other that means orchestrator and the robot 
okay these two will talk each other and it is a loosely coupled application will trigger the process and the process will uh, doing the uh, avoid commands like a shutdown and restart okay thank you very much for watching so please try and uh, give the comments in the, in the below so you, okay so thank you very much bye bye have a nice day great day